now let us come back and start with the concept 4 suppose in the exam paper right they've given you certain order like this or they've asked you this particular question see how to remember this what is that question <coughs> if they ask you why or in the choice question if they give you why cf3 cooh is 10 base to the 5 times stronger than acetic acid okay I'm, comp I'm comparing between these two okay you can directly say as i said electron withdrawing group and electron withdrawing group is there more number of electron withdrawing groups more is the acidity that is what we have learned right so now when i have to just speak in terms of pk cf3 cooh has a pk value of 0.2 Right, it will be, uh, it be given in some books. It will be given as zero also. Uh, like it is not wrong. It is not right. It's point two is the correct thing. Done. So now, uh, very very less, isn't it? There's like there's so many assets which have negative values also. Right. So remember this because smaller the PKA value, stronger is the asset point number one. Second concept: more of the electron withdrawing group, more is the minus I effect, and hence more higher is the acidity. Remember this. So for further information, I'll give you certain data. In, which will be very useful in the exam also now let us see this compound let me draw one line the many compounds are there like that which have uh, if they give you the order which is more greater which is acidic you can remember this order the compound i'm writing pk value also right suppose if i take hi the pk value is minus 10 hbr pk value minus 9 hcl it is minus 7 sulfuric acid minus 5 okay right let me turn the page again i'm uh, writing yes after sulfuric acid nitric acid minus 1.3 right so now ch3 c okay double bond o plus and h right and in h2 this is 0 0 okay zeta rayon i'll show you why it is this also right next ch3 c triple bond n h this is minus 10.1 i'll do a question on this please uh, remember ch3 sh2 plus minus 6.8 next ch3 ch2 right i have to take this plus and h and h minus 2.4 i'm doing giving you remember the order so that's given in the exam it's easy ch3 so3h minus 1.2 okay there's so many assets like that you can have remember this order so that's easy for you if they give you the order of acidity you can name this that let us come back and learn concept 5 now so next concept 5 what am i learning so in concept 5 suppose <coughs> i have a compound like this what is this cl2 ch coh i have one more compound like this f fluorine ch2 coh right now the pk value for this if i have to write this 1.3 here it is 2.6 now question is among these two right which is more acidic right suppose there are no pk values are not given then how will you decide first important thing you have to remember two chlorine atoms have more electron withdrawing power than single fluorine atom that is the first concept so as the same concept i'm again explaining more of the electron withdrawing group more is acidity so the reason is one you just see here double 1.3 and 2.6 which is double so again smaller the pk the stronger is the acid so what should you write more number of electron withdrawing group in case one hence higher is higher is the acidity okay this is a concept now let us write that means cl2 ch coh is a stronger acid than f ch2 coh remember this please i am giving will give you in the form of questions All right now let us see concept six what am i trying to explain in concept six in concept six yes right so if they give you now inorganic acids they've given you certain inorganic acids like uh, you know um, suppose uh, h2s is given the hcn is given then uh, carbonic acid is given inorganic acids are given to you 
right so uh, if they ask you among this these are all what these are weak inorganic acids weak inorganic acids correct yes so uh, what is the order of acidity they'll ask you right so you can take, uh, you have to remember the order like this among this h2co3 stronger h2s stronger than hcl remember this even when i write the pka value carbonic acid pka value is 6.4 h2s pka value is 7 hcl pka value is this smaller the pka stronger is the acid so higher is this acidity right so let us see concept 7 i'm going to give you one more concept so let me write this as concept 7 now in concept 7 suppose you have different compounds now you have different groups like uh, thiol or alcohol groups like that let us see what it is now i have compound like ch3 ch2 sh i have compound like water i have methanol then i have ch3 ch2h i need to compare the acidity of this what should you first find out now for let me start If for alcohols if I take the alkyl group this alkyl group yes this is bigger and PKA, PKA a value also will be more and more so according to the acidity order if I have to see uh, acidity order first one yes uh, uh, thiol okay thiol also is there thiol group yes so this also and this also both the things that means what should you remember the concept more number of r groups uh, then uh, like if the uh, number of r groups are more like if i have to say more number of r groups here right so the, the pk value also will be more pk value will be more will be more and more remember this so as for the acidity between thiol methanol water and alcohol okay and this one which is this i'll, I'll write the order then you will see here first of all for thiol ch3 ch2 sh the pka value is 10.5 for methanol okay the pka value is 15.5 when i take about water the pka value is 15.7 when i take ethanol ch2coh bigger alkyl group isn't it so it is 16 so what is the order if i if i label as a b c and d right now you need to compare between this group and this group also to negativity right so according to this order which will be the uh, stronger one a okay, let me write this a will be a stronger acid then b will be a stronger acid than c will be a stronger acid than d remember this order 